The graph represents the relationship between velocity and time for an object moving in a straight line. What is the travel distance of the object at 9 seconds? So, as they've stated in the problem, we are given the velocity versus time graph here. And we notice that our graph is a horizontal line that goes through a value of 4 meters per second, telling us that we have a constant velocity of 4 meters per second. Remember that the slope of the velocity versus time graph is our acceleration. So our acceleration in this case is 0 meters per second squared. Now the question is asking for what is the travel distance at 9 seconds. Uh, if we observe here, we're going for a time of the time interval from 0 to 9 seconds. That is our change in time. And then we notice that we're still at a height 4 meters per second. Now the question is, how do you actually calculate a change in your position based off of this velocity versus time graph? You remember that velocity is equal to the change in position over the change in time. And now if we solve this equation for our change in position, our delta x, we would find delta x is equal to v delta t. And now you notice that this is our delta t, and this is our value for v, which is 4 meters per second, as we stated before. And now if you notice, this here, this area enclosed under this portion of our graph is in fact our delta x. That is the pos position that we wind up at, or the total distance that we traveled in that time interval. So delta x is simply the area of this graph here under this portion from 0 to 9 seconds. So we plug in for our velocities, which is 4 meters per second, and for a time of 9 seconds, and we would find that our travel distance would be 36 meters. So our answer would be C.